Okay. Uh, this is our control panel, and I briefly went over to it in the last video, but we're going to go ahead and get a little more in depth with this. As I no uh, noted before, auto is the normal position. If for any reason it's out of auto, we're going to get a warning. And I'm going to go ahead and show you that again. We'll put it in stop. Notice we have a warning up here. Warning on the left side, shut down right side. Warning, shut down. Okay, and what I can do from that is I can actually look and see what that is. And what I do is push this. This is our, my main menu button. And it says event logs. And what that's going to do is tell me what's going on. And I, this is my enter key, just like it is on a computer. Push the, and it says I have a gen set control issue. Okay, and what I'm going to do is scroll down. Or I'm sorry, I'm going to enter that. And it's going to tell me gen control not in auto warning. And it says it's present. Okay, so what I have to do to clear anything is it has to be in stop, which it is. I'm going to go ahead and push this button. It's going to say reset all events. And I'm going to push that. And it's, guess what? It's still telling me gen not in, in auto. So actually, I have to put it back in auto. But that's a normal process. We have to put it in stop to clear anything. But in this case, in order to clear this one, we have to be in auto. We'll put that back in auto. I'm going to push this button. And I'm going to clear that fault. And again, that's going to tell me that I have to be in stop to reset all events, except in this case, we're going to do an auto. Now, I'm going to also show you a shutdown, and this will demonstrate that. This is what we call the emergency stop switch. If ever you come to the generator, you see fire, sparks, fluid dripping out, you need to stop it for whatever reason, you push this button. Okay, that button makes a red warning, and it's not going to be able to start if it's in that position. So what I do is I want to see what that is first. So I go to my menu again, and uh, it's telling me what some of the other faults were. This is when we were doing startup, etc. And I'm going to go ahead and enter, and I'm going to get to we got to get back up here. Genset control, and it tells me I have one genset control, and I'm going to go back, and it's telling me the emergency stop switch is active present. Okay, and so in order to clear a fault, I have to clear the condition. So what I'm going to do is this actually backs out and it clears itself. Now it's back into active position. I've got to put the unit in stop. So I'm going to put it in stop. I'm going to go ahead and push this button again, which is my reset button. It's going to say reset all events and it gives you that symbol, which is our enter key. I'm going to push the enter key and it cleared the fault. However, I still got that one, which is our not an auto key. So I've got to go back to auto and it puts that light out. So that is a quick, uh, quick synopsis of what happens when we have a fault. Now, looking at the panel over here again, this was the um, engine parameters. We can actually look at those more deeply by just pushing the down key once we get it there, which this is the engine. And it's going to tell us in English what those symbols were on that. We've got oil pressure, coolant temp, engine speed, again, which is going to be 1800, battery voltage, and engine hours. And then this basically tells us how many days we have until we have to do a service on the machine. This tells us how many times it's been cranked and how many times it's been started. And it tells us no more information available. So you can actually clear to there. And to get back to the main page, we can just push that and go back to page one. On the generators, that's engine. So that's just this portion. Generator side here, same thing. This gives us a synopsis of what's going on. We push this. It's going to give us leg-to-leg -leg voltage on all three legs and amps on all three legs if we're connected. And we're going to get our 60 hertz here. Line to neutral, it's going to give us our 277 volts on that side and how many amps are being drawn. Again, total KW, KVA, KVARs, KW, KVA, and power factor. And it's going to give us total KVA, KVA, KW, and KVARs. And that's going to tell us how many kilowatt hours we've ran. And basically, that's the load that's on the engine times the amount of hours it ran. And it gives us averages there of uh, 
uh, leg to leg and leg to neutral. And then it's going to tell us no more engine av information available. And again, you just get back to start there. So either one of these uh, screens is fine. Uh, we prefer to keep it on the engine side just so we know what the engine's doing. Um, again, auto position normal. Uh, the screen, again, just for your information. And then uh, we're going to go inside and look at the uh, remote enunciator panel. And we're going to do a start from the transfer switch inside.